Hello viewers and my dear students. Welcome to problem 1 that is session 1 a demo on CNC manual part programming for a basic milling profile involving contouring and peg drilling using Denford phonic turning simulation software. These are all offline video help files prepared by me. This is Dr. B. Gurudath, former professor and head department of mechanical engineering, Bangalore Institute of Technology, Care Road, Bangalore 4, presently working as professor at the department of mechanical engineering, Nitya Meenakshi Institute of Technology, Elanka, Bangalore 64. As I just now said, this is session 1. In this session 1, I will be covering, I will be taking a typical problem and how exactly to do the programming part of it using phonic turning simulation software, I will explain you. Okay. In this session 2, using phonic turning simulation software, I will show the demo, how the simulation is done and all that. Now, please remember, this is session 1 of a 3-axis, 3-axis milling machine, using 3-axis milling machine. You see here, now this is a typical 3-axis milling machine. Here you see here, the job is fixed on the table here. Job is fixed on the table here using this T starts and all that, uh, T milling fixtures and all that. The job will be fixed on this. And uh, you, you are undergoing operations on the workpiece which is fixed to the table. Table moving this way or this way can be X. Okay, plus, sir, or plus X or minus X depending on the case maybe. And the table moving this way or this way will be minus Y or plus Y depending on the case. And the tool will be fixed. And the tool moving this way or this way will be Z plus Z or minus Z depending on the case. Okay. Now, as you know here, I am repeating, this is a table on which the job is fixed. Job will be fixed on this table. And the table can move this way or this way. Okay. Moving like this or like this will be X. And the same table can move this way or this way. That is Y. And the tool can move perpendicular to this, this table. That is Z. This Z is fixed. X and Y can change. Z is always fixed. Okay. That means Z axis is this way. I have plus X or minus X depending on the case maybe. Okay. I am repeating. The table moving this way or this way is X. That is one axis. Table moving this way or this way will be Y. That is second axis. And the tool can move up or down. That is the third axis. That is a three axis CNC milling machine. Now, See here, the typical problem, what exactly will be given, will be in this way. Okay. <coughs> this is the one profile will be given and with all the dimensions will be there. All the dimensions will be there. This is one uh, typical uh, uh, milling profile. Okay. Uh, what they'll give and uh, if you can uh, prepare for this, any problem you can do, that is the idea. Now, all dimensions they would have given. Okay. All dimensions they would have given. Okay. First, going along this uh, road is called profiling. Okay. That means cutting along this is called profiling. And also you have three folds. It is called peg drilling. This peg drilling demo and all that I'll show you to in the next session where demo is done using fundamental turning simulation software. Now you see here, here I've seen you are using a GNDM code to write the program for this. GNDM code to write the program for this. See, what I given is use 2mm diameter slot cutter for the contouring operation. That means contouring or uh, profiling same. Use You have to use 2mm diameter slot color, that slot cutter to move along this. Okay. With a depth of cut of 2. That means you have to have a depth of cut of 2. That means if you go inside the specimen by 2mm, you will have a depth of cut of 2 that you can see here. See, this is called the profiling. Clearly, you can see the same profile I got using the VA for a turning simulation software. Here, the depth of cut is minus 2. On the surface, it is 0. Going inside is minus 2. Going above is plus. Okay. Now, on the surface, it is 0. But I have given a depth of cut of minus 2 so that it becomes throat. You will have a depth of cut of minus 2. Now, after that, you have three folds. One at, you see here, one at uh, 40, 20, uh, 20, another 20 and all that, I, I'll give you. That is, you have to have a 10 mm diameter slot drill for the peg drilling operation. That is use G83 cycle for peg drilling with 6 mm depth of cut of 1 mm peg increment and all that. And you can see here, I can make because uh, you, if you think that it takes too much time, I can make it 2 mm peg increment. Okay. 
2 mm peck increment that means every time it goes inside the workpiece by 2 mm and goes above the surface by 1 mm anyway these things i tell you this is the peg drilling means the entire fold the fold diameter is 10 mm and the cutter diameter is also 10 mm and what i have told you clearly here is it is 6 mm is the depth of cut and 1 mm peck increment means it it goes every time by 1 mm and raises up everything i tell you in the simulation okay now you see here what you have to do next is see here for the given dimension you give the get all the coordinates here get all the coordinates here okay get all the coordinates here. and this is called the job zero from here actually the things start that means from here it has to go to a the tool has to go to a b c d e f g h i j k and a if i if the tool goes in this way your profile will be completed afterwards i'll take another tool and do these three uh, pick drilling operations okay i'd like to now looking at the previous dimensions see here looking at these dimensions this is you see here this is 150 okay this is 450 and all that in that way i have got that 045 50 45 and radius is 25 in that way you calculate all that okay and you see here there are two operations here one is profiling or contouring and another is peg drilling now one t01 is for profiling contouring tool diameter is 2 feed i have assumed 50 mm per minute speed is 2000 i have taken okay and for the second operation which is uh, exclusively the peg drilling i have taken t02 that is peg drilling and the diameter is 10 and feed is 35 mm per minute and speed is 1500 now you see here first i'll concentrate on going along the profile of this okay and as you know in g01 g02 okay there is g and m codes g01 is linear interpolation going from here to here i'll give g01 from here linear if it is uh, linear i'll again call g01 only if it is going along this if it is anti clockwise i'll use g03 if it is clockwise i'll use g02 okay again linear g01 G01, 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 and again from here to here, this is again anti-clockwise. I'll use G03. Again, this is linear. G01, G01, G01. In that way, I'll do the programming. You see here. Now, uh, my aim is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, and A. If I do that, I'll be getting the profiling. Now you see here. Here manual part program. You see here. I want this profiling to be done. Okay. To build it. i have taken x200 that is you see here maximum dimension of the profile is 125 85 as you see here 125 85 i have taken little more x is this as you know i have taken 200 why is maximum is 85 here i have taken 150 a little more than this okay so that uh, wastage of material is minimized okay as you know x maximum is 125 i have taken 200 y maximum is 85 i have taken 150 depth of the workpiece that is thickness of the workpiece i have taken 10 that is thickness is 10 i have taken okay now you see here billet first you have to define the billet for fanuc turning simulation software billet you define tool definition first the tool is for contouring diameter 2 you take t1 d2 u2 then again square bracket tool definition t2 diameter 10 for this uh, peg drilling and all that you take this term. then g91 g28 x0 y0 z0 will help the tool to go to its home position that means home position you see here home position is somewhere here from the home position it will come here and it it starts doing the contouring operation and all that from home position wherever is the tool first it will go to the home position g91 g28 x0 y0 z0 means it will go to the home position wherever the tool is first it will go to the home position from there it starts m06 t01 first i'll use the uh, tool 1 that is of diameter 2 m03 s2000 because they are given the speed to be 2000 I change the speed to 2000. G90. Please be aware, all these coordinates have been taken from a common reference point 00. That is why you must use G90. Otherwise, the entire program will go wrong. G90 because all these references I have taken from common origin. G90 you take. Then G00, X0, Y0, Z10. From here, fast G00 means rapid traverse. The tool comes to this zero point. That is zero zero point X0, Y0, and it will be 10 mm above the datum. that means from here 10 mm above the datum it will be okay it will come rapidly g00 means tool moves rapidly to this position okay next you see here 
Now you see here, after coming to this, G01, X0, Y15, Z10, F50. That means from here, it goes to the point A. Still, the tool is Z10 means it is 10 mm above the datum only. Tool moving to point A, 10 mm above the surface of the workpiece are written. Then afterwards, it is just G01 means linear interpolation. G01 means it will behave in the way you ask. G01, X0, you see here, A point. Y15, Y15. Z minus 2 means it has gone inside the workpiece by 2 mm. At A, it has entered the specimen to a depth of 2. Then G01, X0, Y45. Again, G01 means you have to give the feed. If you have not mentioned the feed, previous feed, it will take 50 mm per minute. That means 50 mm per millimeter first minute, it will go. Even here, if I don't mention here, it will take feed 50 only. Then it will go G01, X0, Y15, Z minus 2. I, it, it goes to this G01, X0, Y15, Z minus 2 means it has in, entered inside. Then G01, X0, Y45 means it will go here. Then it will go to C, it will go to D, it will go to E, it will go to F, G, H, I, J, K, A. Everything I have written here as you can see here. And, and wherever it is this, this is G03. And you have to mention the radius also. Even here also I mentioned the radius from this point to this point I mentioned the radius. Once you have gone, once you have done this, send the tool to home position. It, it will go to the home position. Next you see here. Next you see here. Once it has done that, the next tool will come. M0602, uh, that is 10 mm. The speed is 1500. G90, G00, X40, Y20, Z10 means. Here it comes. X40, Y20, Z10, it will come here. Then you see here. G83 is the peg drain cycle. X40, Y20, Z minus 6, uh, that means the tool de that is to a total depth of cut should be 6 mm. Q1 is peak increment. Every time it uh, drills by 1 mm and goes above the datum by 1 mm. Again, minus 2, again goes above the datum by 1 mm. Minus 3 goes above the datum by 1 mm. In that way, the chip what has been collected in the hole also will be removed. Then in that way, Q1, R1 is retract distance. I have given everything here. That is coming above the datum by 1 mm. Okay, that is R1. Feed is 35 and all that. Once it cuts here, I don't have to give again G83 that peg drilling cycle. G83 is peg drilling cycle. I don't have to give again. Just give X60 Y20. That is, this position is from this X60 Y20. This is X40 Y20. You have done the one peg drilling. Next, X60 Y20 is another peg drilling. Same type of thing it will do. 1, 1 mm it cuts. After every 1 mm cut, it will go above the datum by 1 mm. You can see the simulation clearly in the Next, uh, in the section 2. Okay, 1 mm it cuts, goes above by 1 mm. Cut again, uh, 1 mm plus 1, 2 mm, goes above the data by 1 mm. Cut, cut the 3 mm, goes above the data by 1 mm. In that way, 6 mm will be cut, okay. And always it goes above the data by 1 mm and uh, goes inside again. Now, once it is done, like you see here, x80, y20 means automatically, okay, after this fold, it will do the uh, same type of thing here also. Okay, same, uh, z minus q1, R1, Z minus 6. Even here also, the same thing apply. Even this fold uh, depth will be 6 mm. Okay, this fold depth also will be 6 mm. And every time it comes 1 mm, comes above the datum by 1 mm. Again cuts 2 mm, comes above the datum by 1 mm. Cuts 3 mm, comes above the datum by 1 mm. In that way, 6 mm, 6 trials it will do. And by that time, you will have a total depth of cut of 6 mm. 3 folds are made. Then once it is done, G91, G28, X0, Y0, Z0 means it will go to the home position. Then it is the, the tool will stop and the program will stop and that is uh, the speed will stop and the program will stop and the cursor will go to the home position. Now we have come to the end of session one where I have explained only the programming part. Now in the second session, section two, I will explain how exactly simulation is done using FANUC turning simulation software. Thank you very much for watching. Please go for session two after this. Thank you.